Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on expanding the expression of the form ax plus b squared times cx plus d. So we want to expand and simplify 2x plus 1 squared times by 4x minus 5. Now, now whenever we're squaring a bracket we know that that means you multiply it by itself. So it means 2x plus 1 times by 2x plus 1 and then we're also timesing by the 4x minus 5. So we need to multiply these three brackets. And we've seen in a video before how we multiply by three brackets. We just choose two of the brackets to multiply out first. So we could do this bracket times this bracket first, or we could do this times this. Just by personal preference, I do the second times the third first, but I'm not sure it makes it any easier or harder. So I'm going to do each thing in the second bracket times each thing in this third bracket. So I'm going to leave the 2x plus 1 as it is. I'm going to do the 2x times each of these terms here first. So 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 2x times minus 5 is minus 10x. And then we do the second thing in that bracket times by each of the things here. So we do 1 times 4x, which is plus 4x. And we do 1 times minus 5, which is minus 5. And let's just tidy up that second bracket by collecting like terms. We've only got one x squared term but we've got minus 10x plus four lots of x, that's minus 6x. We've still got that minus five there, the constant term. And now we've just got two brackets. So we're gonna multiply this bracket by this bracket. So as before, we do each thing in the first bracket, multiply by each of the things in the second bracket. So two x times each of these. So two x times eight x squared, which is 16 x cubed. Two x times minus six x. Well, positive times negative is negative. 2 times 6 is 12, and we've got x times x, which is x squared. And finally, 2x times minus 5 is minus 10x. And now we do the second thing, the 1 multiplied by each of these things here. So 1 times 8x squared is 8x squared. 1 times minus 6x is minus 6x. And 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. And then we collect like terms again. Now we've only got one x cubed term here, so it's the 16x cubed but we've got an x squared term here and an x squared term here. Minus 12 lots of x squared plus eight lots of x squared is minus four lots of x squared. We've got two different x terms, so minus 10x minus six x, well minus 10 subtract six is minus 16 lots of x. And then finally we've got that minus five here and that completes the expression. So that is the full simplified expansion.